The Southside Public Library, located in South City, offers great materials and services to its customers, but is always looking to better meet the needs of its community. Upon investigation, we became aware that there are several opportunities that cater to residents of median age, approximately mid-40s, but not as many for emerging adults. Therefore, SPL has decided to focus on this emerging adult population and create affordable, accessible programming. We have created an Art After Dark series that will offer a variety of artistic and cultural evenings to meet the needs of this demographic. The goal of this initiative is to engage 15 to 20 participants on a monthly basis. In, our, in order to reach our goal, we have created a comprehensive marketing plan, including an environmental scan, budget, personnel list, communication plan, facilities recommendation, and evaluations. South City is a metropolitan southern city whose residents average approximately 44 years of age with an aging population that's expected to triple in the next 15 years. 41% of the adults are over the age of 25 hold a bachelor's degree and the median household income in 2015 was $53,635. Despite this, unemployment is high and 14.4% of the community are reported to have low income and live below the poverty line. 54.6% of the population are Hispanic, with 38% speaking a language other than English at home. The women typically stay home to raise the children, while the men work long hours at blue-collar jobs. The economy in South City is primarily in government, research, healthcare, and manufacturing, but the largest influx comes from the tourism industry, which tends to cater to the wealthy. This includes an interactive art exhibit, an eclectic cinema that is frequented by well-known authors, has museums and galleries that attract international audiences due to all the indigenous arts, and a local music scene that includes concerts and clubbing for the 31% of the population who are well-educated and well-employed. The neighborhood has been experiencing substantial growth and development that includes new housing, urgent care, a super Walmart, and new places to eat. This has led to a growing diversity in terms of employment and then living situations. Due to these low incomes though, most residents are preferring to choose cost-effective entertainments without the recurring expenditures. These include things such as hunting, fishing, watching TV, or playing online games. While they would love to be more involved in the arts, the focus has traditionally been on the tourists rather than on the local people. Into all of this, we have the emerging adult population. While they would love to be part of the arts, they work long hours and find it cost prohibitive to have centrally located living arrangements and they cannot afford the expenses of attending these events. The government is aware of the issue, but nothing is being done for this part of the population. Because of this, many emerging adults are leaving their communities. Like many libraries, the mission of the SPL is to inform, enrich, and educate by creating and promoting access to a diversity of information and ideas, and by supporting lifelong learning and reading. To make sure that the mission is being addressed, a SWOT analysis has been done to determine that the strengths and opportunities support the interest in an arts prog program for emerging adults. With the community room and cafe spaces, along with three enclosed courtyards, there is more than enough room. There are key issues facing the library that include having only one librarian with young adult experience, not with the emerging adult population. There's insufficient staffing and a lack of funding. However, this group is looking for activities that are affordable for them, as well as many other justifications, which you'll see next. Emerging adults in Southside Public Library's service area are interested in the arts, both as creatives themselves, as well as just exploring artistic avenues. 
by offering programs related directly to their interests and marketing them to emerging adults, the library can reintroduce itself to the target population as a resource and cultural center in the community. Cultural events will bring emerging adults into the library, but its continuous dedication to the arts and plethora of other services will help create a loyal following as emerging adults see that the library offers so much more than just books. We are requesting a total of $3,000 to make this series and its promotion a success. Materials for programming, including refreshments and hiring an instructor if necessary, will be kept to around $100 per event, totaling approximately $650 for all of the events. The remaining funding will be used to promote the event through a number of avenues. Funding totaling approximately $760 will be used for traditional media, including posters, bookmarks, and print advertisements. Approximately $350 will be used for paid promotion on social media to increase visibility to the target market. The library will also pay approximately $700 for booth space at local festivals, farmers markets, and other outreach opportunities to promote both the library and the series. Approximately $475 will be used to purchase necessary software, such as Adobe Suite, as well as facility updates to make the space more welcoming for the series. Supporting roles for this series will be assigned to current employees. No additional funding is necessary to compensate staff, but some tasks and roles may be reassigned to accommodate. We have designated several positions that will be necessary for this series and its promotion to be a success. First, the Adult Services Librarian will be in charge of organizing and running each program. They will also serve as the project lead, continually communicating with other members of the team and being the direct supervisor of the graphic design intern. The staff member already in charge of the library's social media will be tasked as a digital media coordinator for this series. They will use the digital content manager Hootsuite to schedule posts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the library's blog, as well as track the analytics for these promotional posts. Along with scheduling posts, this position will be in charge of the digital promotion budget and monitoring Facebook for a free swag bag giveaway following every 100 likes of the page. This position will also be in charge of promoting the series on the library's website, as well as other online community calendars. The digital media coordinator will work closely with the graphic design intern to create materials for digital promotion. A library assistant will be assigned the role of traditional media coordinator. This position will be responsible for all print promotion, including press releases, speaking with the media, and working with a graphic design intern to create print promotional items, such as posters and bookmarks. These items will be distributed in the library as well as to local partnering businesses frequented by the target market. The traditional media coordinator will also work with local media outlets to create paid advertisements as well as serve as the face of the library for media covering the series. Both media coordinators will be allotted up to four hours each week to work on this project. A graphic design intern will be brought in from the local college's design school to assist with both digital and traditional graphics. This position will be unpaid, but the student will receive college credits for their work. This intern position will be for 10 hours per week. Finally, Southside Public Library will rely greatly on Friends of the Library volunteers and other volunteers in assisting with the actual series execution. As the target market for the Art After Dark series are those between the ages of 18 and 29 in South City, the marketing team has identified appropriate channels for advertisement that utilizes a combination of flyer placement in the community, advertising via more traditional channels, social media posts, and in-house products. 
Part of the reason why the promotion efforts cover so many bases is because the demographics we are attempting to recruit do not currently use the library. There are no classes for the emerging adult population at the library, and social media is currently being underutilized. So in addition to launching a new series, we are also attempting to revamp communication channels and bring in a new segment of the population instead of just attempting to direct current library users to these events. This slide covers a few items featured in our boilerplate. At Southside Public Library in South City, we've been serving our community for over 100 years. Our dedication to lifelong learning grows strong and curious people who love art and love culture. When we see a need in our community, we act. Our emerging adults need affordable nightlife entertainment and enrichment that reflect their values. We provide the venue and bring in the artists, and our young people will develop skills, build businesses, and make our community stronger. Visit us at southsidepubliclibrary.org. One month prior to launch and one month prior to each event, flyers will be distributed to local businesses that serve emerging adults, retail centers, coffee shops, local music scenes, grocery stores, theaters, the community college, the local university, gyms, and bars. The example on this page is one of our flyers. Advertisements will be placed in free local circulars featuring community cultural news and events as well as newspapers. While physical newspapers are not popular with this demographic, the intention is to increase awareness and word-of-mouth recommendations in the community at large. SPL will also attend community functions and set up booths, handing out swag, flyers, bookmarks, and signing people up for library cards in order to increase awareness and bring people in who may not be regular library users. The Art After Dark series will be featured on the SPL blog, the calendar of events on the library website, the library's homepage, the city's homepage, and the e-newsletter. The example on this page is an example of an advertisement featured in the newsletter. Teaser content in the form of posts, to include video, will be posted on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the SPL blog. SPL will pay for advertisements on Instagram and Facebook. SPL will also create a Facebook event for each activity. The hashtag ArtAfterDark will be used to increase awareness. There will also be periodic giveaways on Facebook for every 100 likes. SPL will erect posters on library premises and place bookmarks in all outgoing items. Like advertising in the newspaper, we realize this may not reach our target market. We are, after all, trying to bring the emerging adult population back into the library. But it will increase awareness in the community, hopefully among parents or grandparents, who can pass the word along. There are also quite a few young parents who already visit the library for their children and may not realize that the library offers adult activities as well. SPL will also advertise through the local television and radio stations. The example on this page is an example of a radio ad. Love art? Love music? Love DIY? Need a place to hang out after dark without breaking the bank? Introducing Art After Dark at Southside Public Library. Join us for open mic, painting, crafts, DIY projects, and workshops in a gallery atmosphere. Refreshments provided with cover charge. For questions, call 123-456-7891 or visit us at southsidepubliclibrary.org. An innovative program needs a creative and exciting space. Looking at our space, we realized the library facilities could benefit from some simple updating in order to help make this cultural program a success. We currently have a community room that will host the series, so we looked at ways to make inexpensive changes that would have a big impact. For our poetry readings and music events in the series, we want to create a space that has a performance appeal. 
One way we will do this is to create the illusion of a stage by framing the front of the room by hanging twinkling lights. The twinkling lights will be attached to thin boards which can be mounted on brackets to the left and the right of the stage and of the room. The lights will be placed near the ceiling which can easily be removed or replaced as needed. SPL will update our existing stacking stools by spray painting the tops of the stools in three different colors for an eclectic artistic flair. These can be easily stored and brought out for the events. The three plastic buckets spray painted to match the stools will hold cold drinks for the events, mimicking informal social gatherings. We will purchase several four by eight foot sheets of drywall and encourage people to use Sharpies to draw and write about the library, giving the area a modern atmosphere. Here's an example of one created for a different program that was created by families. Having the public engagement in this kind of activity is twofold. It provides them the chance to share thoughts and feelings about the library and be part of the design aesthetic of the library. We will rotate four of these installments in our community room through the year. Above the graffiti installation, empty picture frames will be hung on the wall to showcase a revolving collection of customer art. These elements will contribute to our participatory space by adding elements that focus on collaboration and engagement. A number of measurements will be utilized in order to determine the success of the Arts After Dark series. We will distribute a short anonymous survey in person after each event, as well as post it on social media and on the Southside Public Library's website. Survey questions will be multiple choice with a few open-ended questions. Some questions will include, was this event enjoyable? with Likert scale answers of definitely yes, yes, somewhat, no, or definitely no. Why did you attend this event? Check all that apply with choices of, it sounded fun. I'm an artist, performer, or instruct instructor featured in this event. I want to be more familiar with the local talent. I saw it as a great opportunity to socialize with friends and meet new people. For inspiration. Moral support for one or more of the artists, performers, or instructors. I wanted to see if this was an environment I would like to be featured as an artist, performer, or instructor in the future. The free snacks. Or other. Another multiple choice question will be, how did you hear about this event? Social media, inside the library, the library website, flyers, a friend, on the radio, or other. Open-ended questions will include, what was your favorite aspect of this event? Was there anything you did not like about this event? And please give us recommendations for how we can improve this event in the future. Results from surveys will be utilized to understand how customers view the new series and how we can improve future events. We will also utilize social media statistics in order to help determine the success of the new series. We will look at the number of engagements such as tagging, mentioning, sharing, or suggesting information related to the new program series as well as number of new followers among our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts with a goal of at least 10 social media engagements per event. In order to gauge success in terms of participation, the goal is an average of 15 participants per event by the year's end. If we reach 30 participants on average per event by the year's end, we will seek additional funding to continue our efforts next year. We will continue to cultivate these efforts and partnerships five years down the road. The summary of these results will be published on the SPL Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages, current blog, presented at library staff meetings, and in our annual report.
Southside Public Library has identified a need among emerging adults for affordable cultural entertainment. The mission of SPL is to inform, enrich, and educate members of the community by creating and promoting access to a diversity of ideas and information, and by supporting lifelong learning and reading. While SPL does a fantastic job of fulfilling this mission for the general population, we are missing the boat in terms of millennials who are leaving the community due to a lack of support. There is a gap in the community in support and encouragement of emerging adults and we are proposing to meet them where they're at in life by providing them with affordable entertainment and community recreation that matches their interest with an engaging and enriching arts and cultural event series here at SPL. We thank you for listening to this proposal for the Arts After Dark event series.